Welcome to Glendale, the biggest stadium floor of the season and a packed house. It's the 12th round of the Monster Energy Supercross Championship. Here we go. And from the outside, it's oh. Tomac, but it's Kevin Moran's way inside. Came in hot and goes down, and from the outside, it's Colton Nichols who takes the lead. Wow. And he's lost a little bit of ground to Webb, who is latched onto the back now of Jason Anderson. Is here a pass attempt? Oh, hit him. I don't think that was intentional. Anderson uh -oh, cut down this. a bit. Ah, uh, but Anderson don't like it. He don't like it, and he gets him back. Yeah, now this is really uh -oh. gonna hurt Cooper. There goes, there. Oh, no. Yeah, he he just, that was a poor move. Uh, maybe it was on, fire, uh, on purpose. We gotta go back and look at some replay before we call it for sure. But man, look at, because of that, he's lost. Here they are, here's the replay. The pass attempt on Anderson. Okay, let's see, Anderson. Oh, Cooper's to the inside, he over jumps it. Ah, that was on Cooper. That was on Cooper. Anderson goes low. Oh, Cooper's got to do a better job at anticipating that. He knew that Jason was probably going to go low there. Got him right in you, the foot. E either way, you have to give more room and just guard on the side of, hey, and of course, rightfully so, Jason isn't happy, has every right to be. And for Cooper Webb, oh. what could have been a pass for fourth, now he sits sixth. Oh, yeah. Well, the lighter colored soil that you see, that's where it's hard pack, almost like blue groove. Imagine a red clay dirt road and where you see the rubber getting laid down. That's what we call blue groove. Oh, oh hold on. hang on, Arte. Whoa. I think he saved it three times in I, that whoop section. I, I believe that you are right, Daniel. <laughs> I thought he was gone. You know what kind of strength that takes? Oh, this is gonna take a lap or two, I think, to slow down. Let's take a look at how that happened for R.J. Hampshire. This, this is all R.J. Hampshire right here as Lawrence takes the lead and now has the clear track it, right after R.J. makes the mistake. So look at the gap now between the two favorites for this race. Jets. Here's a replay. Okay. Nothing, nothing going Good. wrong here. Oh, he misses the top of that one. Uh oh, and that, there it is. that's really what set it off. And then the bike starts going sideways. Look at, I mean, look at that strength. <laughs> he is just holding on. Wow. He's got to get closer. Here's Tomac now. Through the whoops. Corner to go. It was a tie coming in. It's not a tie no more. Eli Tomac wins the Triple Crown in Glendale. With that win, Eli Tomac is now officially number two, Ricky. He did it. Just incredible. Jet Lawrence. Man, he did it. Well, oh, hold on. Let's, don't, let's careful, get through the whoops. Now, don't jinx him. I know. Let's get through the whoops. I think he can handle the tunnel in the last corner. Just get through these one more time, Jet. Break the curse. It's your last triple crown on a 250. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jet. You did it. All those mistakes mean nothing now. Jet Lawrence wins the triple crown in Glendale. Kitchen second. Is it Hampshire in third? It is, RJ Hampshire finishes in third. And the curse is broken. And Jet Lawrence continues his run. 23 points up in the standings coming into Glendale. He will leave here now 26 points up. He's gonna roast the tire, Ricky. There you go, we talked about that balance. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.